What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to stencil an intercooler or a radiator or whatever. So first things first, you get the stencil and you can use like painting tape or masking tape. Sort of just put it on the intercooler first and then, you know, just like do what I did. You put it on one side and you put it on another side and you put the bumper on and what basically you do is you grab the letter or the logo or whatever so you can see like right here right here's the m m for mishimoto so i'm aligning basically this letter with the center of the bumper so like the center of the logo also helps you can like just basically go down a straight line and then look at the middle of the intercooler and see if the letter or the logo or whatever if this is in the middle of the bumper and the middle of the intercooler so that's what we're doing right now I'm going to do some just align it in the center more and take off the bumper really simple you peel off the back and that's it you just tape it onto the intercooler and spray so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I think about three or four coats should be good enough so I'm gonna go ahead and start. So if you guys can tell what I'm doing here, I basically peeled off the backside. So right now this is sticky. And it's good that this is sticky because now I'm able to stick this onto the intercooler core. So now basically what I'm doing is like I'm patting it down so that the letter, the logo, it will be able to stick onto the core. So like right now, I already aligned this in the center. This may not look like it's in the center right now based off of just from the video but I basically measured from the center of the bumper the logo or whatever bringing it straight down and then having this align to the middle of this and then the bottom of this align to here so it might be a bit confusing but it pretty much it helps if you put the bumper back on to make sure so like right now everything is stuck on so I will show you guys now like how it will actually look like so as you can see I have the bumper on and like I said it's just to show that it's in, in the middle so this is perfectly in the middle actually but all I have to do is bring this paper down just a tiny bit more down so that the bottom of the M right here is able to kind of just sit more fl so the purpose of that what I'm trying to say is that the top of this M will be able will be more exposed to the outside when people look at it otherwise in terms of being in the center is actually fine it's perfectly fine all it needs to be is this paper is gonna bring down a little bit more so that's what I'm gonna do right now so it's perfectly aligned in the center in terms of like it's not too much left not too much right the height it's not too much up not too much down stuff like that i put the bumper back on so it is showing fully the logo m of mishimoto so what we're gonna do now is basically just spray it so everything's like patted down i have this extra stuff to like basically cover the paint if it splashes over but i believe three or four coats will be good but it's really easy. Stenciling is the easiest thing, guys. So if you have any questions, just let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and begin. So just like that, we're going to let it sit uh, for about like 15 minutes or so to each coat, let it dry about 15 minutes or so. Once we do that, we come back and then we take off all the paper and it's pretty much it guys. And I will come back and show you, I will, so I'll skip basically to the fourth coat and shoot again just to show you guys how it looks, the final product. Alright guys, so I actually end up only doing three coats and just because they said it's not good to put too many coats, especially in a thing like a intercooler or radiator it's not good to put so much paint exposed to the grill or whatever it's called so three is good enough I mean you guys can take a look now obviously you can't see in the 
video because it's just pure blackness but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and you guys will see how it looks pretty much. So that's the final product guys, that's how it looks. Uh, still needs to dry a bit, but it definitely looks good. I'd say it definitely has a nice touch to it. Uh, it's always good to show like the logo of whatever in cooler brand that you guys have, whether it's Perrin, whether it's Mishimoto or whatever. Uh, I always would represent you know what whatever brand that it is and especially because you know i'm sponsored by mishimoto so finally that i have the kit complete one with a missing pipe finally done and two being able to stencil the logo onto the intercooler but that's it guys that's a super short video i know but if you guys have any questions uh you can always comment down below and ask me or just look at any other stencil videos that people have done uh, for their intercoolers or radiators or whatever, but that's pretty much it guys. I will catch you guys later And I'll keep you guys updated as always. See ya